Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your G Pen Rome dab of the day. Today is Monday. Hello, everybody. Well, I guess I have a question for everybody, but it's a rhetorical question that doesn't require an answer. How many people talk to themselves? That's right. How many people talk to themselves? Here's another rhetorical question. How many people had a therapist before pandemic? So you talk to yourself, you had a therapist before pandemic. Let's go some, go further one. So you talk to yourself, you had a therapist before pandemic, and now there's no more therapy. There's no way for you to get therapy. You can do a phone call once in a while, but no therapy. What happens? Well, you're shit out of luck. So we need to talk about this so it doesn't happen to people. People should not have the rug pulled out from them. People should not have to endure sharp edges psychologically because of something out of their control. So how do you make sure that doesn't happen? How do you try to insulate yourself for things out of your control when it comes to your psyche? Well, I didn't think about it until it was too late. But now that I've thought about it, there's a strategic way you can do it. Be your own best friend. Be your own counsel. You know, I went to visit my son this weekend. Thank God he has a beautiful new home with his fiance. And I'm so proud of him. And the advice, the one thing I said to him when I was there, as we were leaving, I still sit and I said, you know, Evan, my name is Evan. You need to be your own counsel. And the reason I'm talking about that with him is I'm getting older. His mom's getting older. There'll be less people around to give him advice as he gets older. And we all look for advice, don't we? Is that a flaw? Is that something we should challenge and think twice about? Looking for and asking for advice. Asking for help, looking for help all the time. Should we be able to manage on our own? That is the question I think that has plagued people for generations and generations. How do you do it if you're alone? Well, most people who are alone don't want to be alone. Most people who are alone want to be with people. They want to hear what other people have to say, hear their other people's opinions. But, but... Let's just say that's not available. Or let's just say it's hard to come by. All right? What do you do if it's hard to come by? Well, historically, you'd keep trying. Keep trying to find a way to make that happen. Got to make it happen. Here might be another solution. Accept, accept the fact that you're on your own. It sounds a bit harsh. Accept the fact that you're on your own and start listening to yourself. You might have been in what's called the rocking chair with somebody out front and somebody in the back and you were kind of in the rocking chair, didn't have to worry. Not like that. You're the one. The eyes are on you. The pain's going to come to you. So isn't it in our and your best interest to be your own best friend, be your own advisor, be your own best counsel in a world where what happens is people who've been your counsel, let's think about this, people who have been their count, your counsel and your friends, where are they now? The world has possibly pulled them away from you. You haven't, they haven't, but the world has. So what, what happens if you didn't have the skills to operate on your own? You'd sink. And it's a sink or swim world out there. So we've got to make sure, because we have the skills, We've got to make sure that we deploy, we deploy the skill set. For example, if you're a cruise ship in crazy heavy water, a big storm, they don't just march along. They have stabilizers they deploy inside the ship to go outside like wings to make it so the ship rocks less. To modern invention, they have it. So do people. We have it, okay? We deploy them ourselves in our brains so we don't freak out. 
Well, guess what? It's okay to do that. Deploy it. Take care of yourself. Stabilize yourself. Nobody else can do it. It's unfortunate for me to tell the reality to everybody out there who says, wow, I have this great doctor. Oh, I have this great team of people. Oh, I have so many friends. Oh, my relatives, they talk to me all the time and love me. That's wonderful. But guess who's making the final decision? You are. It's always up to you and me. It's up to us individually what we do and what we think. The sooner we smack ourselves and wake up from the dream and say, yes, that is the way life is, the better off we're going to be. Now, I'm trying not to be harsh on this one, but this is important. It's critical because I've experienced it. Many others have experienced it during what's been happening with pandemic. Other things can happen future in the world too. We need to lick our wounds and learn from our mistakes, how to approach life. This is a lesson. This is a light bulb going off. And we should all look at it and go, wait a second. Wait a second. We got to learn to take care of ourselves. What if we're left isolated and we have to do it? And taking care of yourselves can include loved ones. But you got to take care of yourself first. Remember, everybody, you got to put on that oxygen mask first before the child gets the oxygen mask. Remember, you know the rules. They do it for a reason. Let's have our dive of the day and get the day started. And remember, remember, we have the skills. We have the ability. We do. So it's not like I'm saying, hey, everybody, jump 10 feet in the air. Not such a big deal, what I'm asking everybody to do. I'm just asking everybody to buckle down and to think about the things they bring to the table for themselves. Cheers, everybody. And have a great Monday. Cheers.